Hi, this is Rabani and welcome to Vihaso. In this video, I will show you how to download and install Vihaso POS software. In order to download Vihaso POS software, we require two prerequisite software, which are SQL Server and SAP Crystal Report. Let's start. Open your browser and type vihaso.com. Here you will find a list of downloadable files. First, I will download prerequisite software and then the main POS software. So first I will download number one, SAP Crystal Report, then SQL Server, and finally I will choose the POS, which is for the restaurant POS software. As you can see now these three files are downloaded first I will install SQL server so click yes click on the ok button and wait for a few moments now SQL server installation center window will appear from this window, I will select new SQL Server standalone installation because now here I am doing a fresh installation. Just click on that button. Now SQL Server 2014 setup installation has started. First, this will give to select the license terms and condition. Here I am accepting the license and then clicking next button. Now setup is looking for updated file from the server. As of now, I don't require any updated file. That's why picking it out include SQL Server product update and clicking on the next button. This feature selection window will allow you to choose the features which you want to install and just keeping everything as it is by default and clicking on the next button. Instance configuration window will allow you to choose the name of the instance. So here I'm just keeping everything as it is without doing any changes and clicking on the next button. This is server configuration window. From here you can choose the uh, services which you want to run for the SQL server. So here I'm just keeping everything is by default and clicking on the next button. Choosing Windows authentication mode and clicking on the next button. In this reporting service configuration window, we are choosing the by default option which is a reporting service native mode. Now setup is installing all the necessary files to your computer. It might take a couple of minutes depending on your computer speed. It may take 10 to 15 minutes.
Now SQL Server installation has completed successfully. So clicking close button to complete the installation. Now we'll go for the second prerequisite file, which is SAP Castle Report. So first we'll extract the file and then we'll look for the setup file in this extracted folder. And double click to run the installation of SAP Castle Report. Now I'm clicking on the next button to start the installation accepting the license now clicking on the next button to begin the installation process Uh, this process may take a couple of minutes depending on your computer speed it may take two to three minutes now this app console report installation has successfully completed in our computer so clicking finish button to close this window now SAP Castle report installation has successfully completed so clicking finish button to close this window now we have successfully completed the first phase of installation of prerequisite software and then uh, we will go to this uh, second phase of this installation clicking run to start the installation click next and now it is asking for the file location where we want to install the setup file just clicking on the next button Now setup is installing all the necessary files to your computer. Click close to complete the installation. Now open SQL Server Management Studio. To know your SQL Server name, copy the SQL Server name from this window. And close this application. Now we are going now we'll run the main software. From SQL Server setting window, we'll paste here the server name and then check the server connectivity by clicking on the test DB connection. Now we can see it is successfully connected. Here it is giving two options, one for blank database and another for demo database. So here I'm clicking demo database because we are going to use it as a demo to understand how this software works. Now this DB has successfully created, so clicking on this OK button. And now we'll run this software again. From this activation window, we will request a new demo key that's why we are clicking on the request demo key option fill this uh, demo key request form your name your email id mobile number business name address city state country and the postal code after filling this form click send request button
your request has successfully submitted to the vihaso now you'll get uh, your activation key through sms or email so don't forget to check your email here i have opened my email id but i didn't receive any email activation key so let me check in the spam mail in this map mail it's showing there is one email so let me check what it is see that mail came in the spam just click on the mail to check your activation key run this PO software again and in this PO's activation window paste this activation key here and click on this activate button now our demo is successfully activated thank you for watching and enjoy this software